Hi guys, this is Anne Otagius. Uh, with recording another YouTube video, I've been busy for the past year, so I haven't really done many videos, but I will start making one up again for you guys, making more videos. So as you see here, here's my E71, which I don't really use anymore. I just noticed that Symbian hasn't really been updating their operating system. This one was, I don't know, it just wasn't doing enough for me, but it's a really great phone. It is one of the best phones I've ever had, though. So all you E71 fans, I'm so sorry. I've moved on to Android. That is my new love. My first Android phone was the My Touch, which I had to stop using because I miss a fit having a physical keyboard. So that's why I moved on to Click. So today I'm going to talk about the Click versus the My Touch. A quick overview over both phones. The Click has 1.5 uh, Android OS with Motoblur, and Motoblur is another program on top of Android OS, which lets you see all the social media networking systems uh, all in one screen, and it frequently syncs with that. And um, it has 5 megapixel camera, which is in the back right here. It does not have a flash, which is kind of sad. And it has 1 gig of memory in the internal. It uses a micro SD card, which you can uh, have like up to 32 gigs, I believe. And it uses a micro SD slot right here. I mean, sorry, right here. And a 3.55, 3.5 millimeter jack. And here's the slide out of it. My background is Iron Man 2, and I can't wait to see that movie. Here's my happenings right here, and let me click on it for you. Let's go to portrait mode. This is happenings. I have my Twitter, my uh, Facebook all synced onto here. Excuse me. There you go. And you can slide to view all the updates, and you can add comments to them as well. And then you could click the top part to view all of them all at once. See? The screen is a little bit um, not as sensitive as I would like it. It's less sensitive than the iPhone, which I think they need to fix it. The over-the-air update didn't really help my phone as much. I don't know about you guys. The My Touch, and uh, I'm gonna move on to the My Touch. Excuse me. It has 1.6 Android OS, and it has a three megapixel camera. And um, the internal memory wasn't that much, but and I don't want to get into it. But it, it just lagged a lot for me, which I hated it. I just miss having a physical keyboard as a phone. And it did come with the in stock um, keyboard as well. You can install the HTC keyboard on there, which is better than all the ones that are in the Android market. I did install the Android, I mean the HTC keyboard on my Click, and I love it. So overall, I would choose the Click over the My Touch. One thing on the My Touch that I didn't like is it didn't have a 3.5 millimeter um, jack. It used the micro SD jack to. Uh, to connect your headphones to it, which I really hated. And another problem that I had with the My Touch, it made me um, when I sent text messages, there's a lot of errors on it, and so I had to click, I had to uh, touch it to resend the text over and over, which was really annoying. And the screen was really, it really irritated me. It wasn't that responsive as I would like it. But here's my click. I'm gonna do a tour, mini tour of my click real quick. Okay. I'll show you the HTC keyboard that I installed in my Motorola click. See? And then let's type something. Uh, I'm typing this backwards 
kind of it's pretty awesome and let me type hello on it hello and I think this is one of the best phones that T-Mobile has to offer right now I'm still waiting on uh, well what I really want to get into is I mean, I'm looking forward to is the Google Nexus One phone, which is all over the phone news right now, all over the blogs, and I can't wait to get it, my hands on it. The Click is a pretty awesome phone, and one thing that is so cool about Android operating system is it has a free navigation system for um, 2.0 and under called Waz GPS. It's turn by turn voice. And let me get it. It's pretty awesome. And then there's also, um, you can also tether your Android phone by using, um, by using PDA net. So you just need to connect your phone, uh, to your USB of your computer and then you will get internet on your computer, which I had to use it because my internet stopped working for about a few days. And they also have Shazam already on the computer. And T-Mobile has a My Account application, which lets you know the information about your phone account. And you could chat with a live representative on your phone on this with this application as well. Overall, I just love Android. I am a Google lover, so I gotta stay true with Google. That is all I have for now. With my next videos, I will talk about the Droid Aries and the five best applications to have on an Android phone. And also, please visit my website, opixelvis.com, and maybe you can even donate money to me or donate so I could do more updates on some awesome phones that are coming out. And visit imnumber2.com to see um, to buy some shirts from me because I have a clothing line coming out. Thank you guys. Have a great day. This is Anna Tejas.